Also in seven for months, supporters collected signatures across the Sunshine State to get a proposed abortion rights measure on the November ballot. But now critics are questioning the validity of some of those petitions, and the governor is getting involved in the battle. The night team's Nicole Insalata is at the Supervisor of Elections Office in Fort Lauderdale with this tonight. Nicole? Well, Craig, it seems like the process to get an amendment on the ballot in Florida is a fairly straightforward one. You get enough signatures and then the language is approved by the state Supreme Court and it goes on the ballot and then the voters get to vote. Well, there is a layer of verification in the middle where all of the county's elections officers make sure all of those signatures are valid. That happened in this case. And in fact, earlier this year, some of them were kicked back. There were even some arrests for fraud. But now the governor is asking for verification, another layer of verification, and some Democrats now are crying foul. Our tolerance for voter fraud in the state of Florida is zero. This is the action of somebody who understands they're losing this fight and they are weaponizing the institutions of government to try and intimidate voters. Advocates for Amendment 4, which would enshrine abortion rights in the state constitution, needed just over 890,000 signatures to get the proposal placed on the ballot. And back in January, the state confirmed more than 990,000 had been collected, a margin of about 100,000. Now the governor says his administration is looking into potentially fraudulent petition signatures and abortion rights supporters say it's a scare tactic. I think a lot of people are unhappy with the way uh the state of Florida is weaponizing its resources. This is Amendment 4. No law shall prohibit, penalize, delay, or restrict abortion before viability or when necessary to protect the patient's health as determined by the patient's health care provider. And the ad wars have already begun. A ban where government decides, not you. And that's why Florida must vote yes on 4. It sounds extreme because it is extreme. After the signatures were collected, they were verified by individual counties. And now the DeSantis administration has asked for review of some of those previously verified. We want everybody to participate, but we can't be in a situation where people are trying to short circuit the process. One Florida voter, however, from Southwest Florida posted on social media, a detective investigating petition fraud, people forging other people's signature on petitions, there is such a thing, just left my home. I had indeed signed a petition seeking to have the right to an abortion placed on the ballot in Florida. The experience left me shaken. What troubled me was he had a folder on me containing my personal information, about 10 pages. I saw a copy of my driver's license and copy of the petition I signed. And several Florida Democrats in Congress are asking the Department of Justice now for a review, alleging that the DeSantis administration was only asking for signatures that were already deemed valid and has not provided much public information about why it launched an investigation or what it was looking for. Citing media reports, it said visits to voters' homes left them shaken and intimidated. We want to make sure that, that, that all those laws are upheld so people will be held accountable. Something which should be an exercise in good old-fashioned American democracy and is turning into an exercise in uh, new-style voter intimidation. Now, through their social media accounts, officials with the governor's office are reiterating what they say is their duty to make sure that there is integrity in the process. But all of this, at the same time, there's a lawsuit now that's been filed by an attorney from Lake Worth who says that the governor's office, or more uh, broadly, the DeSantis administration is breaking the law by using state websites to push its own views of Amendment 4. But the DeSantis administration says, no, we are just putting out health information. Reporting live in Fort Lauderdale, Nicole Insalata, 7 News, 19.